What a beautiful afternoon it is out here in Sydney, Australia. We are en route to Featherdale Wildlife National Park to explore the crazy species that Australia has to offer. So we specifically chose this zoo or wildlife um, exhibit mainly because it will have all the local animals of Australia in this spot. Not really like giraffes or elephants, you know, like that you find at any other zoo. So this will be more of the local Australian wildlife. We're all about the authentic creativity of nature that it has uh, in this specific area. I think it's this bird, but I'm trying to find it. So there is, oh. I see the common oh, bronze. This Australian native called common bronze wing. Okay, it's a native bird. Interesting. It's pretty cool. We're trying to find the other ones. I'm. I want to find this one. The the, the honey wetter. It's kind of. Oh, I think I see one all the way in the back. Kind of. Pretty cool. Awesome. A lot of the. A lot of the the Australian native species we've got going all right all right all right we finally made it to the the parakeet section interesting oh, I can't really... so there's also the ones on that tree oh the cockatiels Cockatiel. yeah they're from out here as well I also like the these little guys yeah I don't know what these are actually we're not able to this might not be a good video so many parakeets yeah Interesting. Enchil Ech Enchilada? Oh, Ooh. this is cool. Oh, interesting. These are cool. Wow, these things fly. Oh, hello. Well, hello. Oh, wow. Is that a platypus? No, I think it's just a species of duck. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> Seems like he likes us. Hey, hey there. Oh, oh wow. Scared him. It's so close. Oh wow, these oh, things do look like platypi. They look like wow. little penguins. Oh my god, I think these might be... <gasps> They're oh. coming in... Oh my god. These are the cutest things in the whole wide world. This is amazing. That's a, there's a lot of them too. Oh wow, there's a little sparrow. Of course, we've got the native Ibis just hanging out with us. <laughs> amazing, Kai, what are your thoughts about these? I love these? it. I love just seeing little animals. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that lizard. Oh, oh my god, it's a lace monitor. This is so crazy. Wow, I think these things bite too. It's quite interesting. So they actually are carnivores, so they eat meat. So we're advised not to put our hands in there. Yeah, I mean, this, 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 this looks like a pretty good meal, he, I think, he, to it. He's I think he's looking. He has his eye on it. Oh. I think, yep, he looked at it. <laughs> He wants it. Yeah, I don't know. I but don't know if I want to give it to him. <laughs> I love how we just sit there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this bag. It's in the bowl. Oh, there's another bird in there. Wow. It's a blue one. So we wanted to see and um oh and up blue there mountains. Oh, in the blue wow. mountains but we were unable to wow this is pretty cool i wonder what's oh no way oh my goodness oh, no my way goodness. no way this cannot be real this is the one that i wanted to see in the blue mountains and i'm finally with him hi there buddy how are you doing Aw, you're the cutest thing in the Wait, whole wide at, world. Look at the ones on the ground, too. Oh. What is that, oh Bambi? Oh, my God. Bambi bird. Oh, my goodness. Hi there, buddy. Hi. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Oh, <laughs> hi. You like me, right? 
You like me, yeah? What are you doing here, Ibis? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you like me. Oh, oh wow. What is that? Oh, I think they're talking. Someone said hello. Wow, this is this is fantastic. I have no words. That's, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. These are so cute. Wow. Are you filming? That one will speak to you. Really? In the corner. Oh my god, it's in the cross. Wow, I guess I guess there's a bird that potentially will say hello. <laughs> oh that waves. Look, look. Hi. Wave at him. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh my god, he's waving at us. This is the oh. Hello. <laughs> wow. Hello. This is so cute. Hello. Wow, you're a waver, huh? Looks so cute. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Australian busters. Those are cute. These are very friendly. They're very friendly. Yeah. Unless you have your finger. Oh yeah. Now I'm just hanging out right here at but. I have no idea what kind of animals those are, but they're really pretty as well. They're not part of the wildlife um, zoo, but I mean now they are. Uh, they definitely they're part made, of the, they're made part themselves of the, at home. They're part of the live, live, live livestock here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so this one's gonna have an owl. Where's oh, the owl? Oh my god! Wow, this oh, is look amazing. At the one <gasps> Wow. They look so mean. They look very mean. They look very cute though. I know. Amazing. Funny. Oh, I think this is an eagle. Oh yeah, I think I see an eagle in the back. Very cool. And this is a lesser snooty owl in the back. Lesser of snooty owl. Oh. I don't see it. It definitely looks so snooty. <laughs> they do look very snooty. What is this? Another owl. More owls, yeah. Huh, another, oh, that one is sunbathing. Really hard right now. <laughs> these are the birds. These are the birds, I guess. Ooh, these oh, these ones. ones are pretty. Look like waterfowl or something. Really cool. Yeah, we're having a blast here, guys. Oh, look at the um, branch. There's the a branch. colored one. Oh, I do, I do see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's popping up on camera, but yeah, these are, these are a lot of the, a lot of the great local birds we've got there's going on right here. There's a brown one right over here. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, and these ones up here. Oh, these are like little sparrows. <laughs> and then this brown guy right over here. Wow, cute. Oh, look on the other side. It's on the, oh. Wait, we need to make way over there. oh yeah, we're yeah we're gonna make our way over there. It's, it's too much good stuff here. On the branch. Oh wow, I think it's it looks like a like a little pigeon, but it's like Australian pigeon. <laughs> so it's just just cooler. On the ground right over here, this one with the little blue neon blue. Wow, really cool. I love it. Fantastic vibes. Yeah. A lot of a lot of flies down here. Okay. Oh wow, this one's pretty. It's the blue sparrows. Very cool. Whoa, what are these? What are these? It looks like a more elegant abyss. They flew, oh no, that's a beast. Yeah, this does look like a more elegant abyss. I think there's some abyss scattered around there as well. Yeah, this, yeah. this thing is just long, very long. I think the abyss are here for pleasure since they're probably getting fed. Yeah, absolutely, they keep flying in. 
Oh, this one's sitting down now. Very cool. We love it. <laughs> now trying to check out Kuka. This little thing, but unfortunately he's hidden in here somewhere and we're just not able to like see him. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go into Birds of Wet Gullies. So I believe Wet Gullies is a region and these are all the birds that are usually in there. Oh, these are like little quail. You found Kuka, oh my God, she found Kuka. He's being a burrito back over there. Oh, oh he does look like a little burrito. Still, <laughs> still cute though. I love it. I think I think he might just be a little hot just because the sun is scorching. I mean, I think it's about 85 degrees right now. So it's a little crazy. Oh, this is, I don't think we saw this one already. But yeah, birds of wet gullies. There's lots of crazy sparrows in here. Some some insane colors we've got going on. I think that's a finch. Whoa. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. There's white, white ones, white and black on the branch. Oh, I do see that white and black one. That one's pretty. Let's see. Let's and this gray one looks so elegant. Oh, this one does look very elegant. Wow, this looks like one of those uh, herons that eats all your koi and all your, your fish <laughs> in the pond. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. I don't know if it has anything. I think this might be up. So this is the birds of the open forest. Uh, so within the open forest, this is what you would see. Uh, all right, I think we're on to the next one. Oh my. The, the, the best part about a place like this is that you keep running into a different animal every five minutes. Uh, you can literally look at one enclosure and there would be a thousand species in there sorry for the interruption oh good look at this black and white duck with orange eyes and orange beak how exotic is that that is very exotic <laughs> <laughs> really cool wonder what's in here this is the birth of the kimberly coast birds okay very cool lots of finches what's in here dingo what's a dingo i think it's wanna... a puppy dingo is a puppy it looks like a dog. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it might be. Oh, look at, the, look at it. It does look like a it. dog. I don't Down see it. I don't see it. Down here, sleeping. <gasps> it does look like a dog. That's I think these are dog. dogs. Aww. Oh, these, yeah, I think these are dogs. Oh. Well, you can find these locally in America. I know, I know. But I guess cool. dingoes are exotic out here. Cool. Yeah, good to know. It kind of looks like a hybrid of a fox and a dog. Yeah, like a uh, dog. Maybe we can dog. F dog. I think dog sounds like a docks. great name. How about docks? <laughs> docks. Okay. Okay. Very punny. I love it. Dingo. 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 Yeah, he he went away. I don't think he wants anything to do with us. Oh, Dingo's got a whole little this thing. Looks pretty cool. What's down here? I think we went through this already. What? Oh, it is a gigantic alligator. I feel like we'll have a better shot. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for this. This thing is humongous. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Mikai, what are your thoughts about the gator? So amazing. Yeah. He Such looks kind of mad. I mean, it's, it's a majestic animal, uh, needless to say. He's taking a little sunbathe. Yeah, just, just bathing, bathing uh -huh. his day away. <laughs> yeah. At least he's got a nice pool, like nice, a nice and clean pool he's got going on right here. This Ooh, beautiful got... multicolored. Oh, wow, it's a finch. finch. I actually know these ones. Yeah, these are, these are just exotic finches that a lot of people do keep uh, in, the, in, the, in the pet bird trade. It's, it's really cool to see out here. I mean, they, they literally just exist. And it sounds like there's a diamond dove in there. Diamond dove. I believe that's the diamond dove right there. I think we're seeing, we're looking at them. These are the ones. These are also in the in the exotic bird trades. So most of these uh, these animals are in the exotic bird trade, which is which is crazy to see. What do we what do we have here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. 
Hey, buddy. He looks like a dinosaur. Hey, buddy. He looks like a dinosaur. Wow. Okay, maybe get a better shot from me. Wow. This is amazing. So this one is called a what? Southern Cassowary. Okay, Southern Cassowary. I mean, these look very majestic. I mean, I think I'm just gonna call them the dinosaur, the pretty dinosaur, because look at those, look at those colors, guys. Look at those colors on his face. And that head, the horn, it's just, I, I have no words. I have no words. The amount of species that, that naturally exist out here in Australia. Incredible. Incredible. And I mean, it's, it's a massive amount as well. It's not like, oh, there's like small amounts of uh, exotic species. I mean, to us, they're exotic, but the, I mean, to most people that live out here, these, this is normal. This is wild. Inside the turtle and dragon enclosure. Let's see. Let's see if we're able to find anything. This is a okay. snake. Yeah, we see a beautiful snake. I think that's a rattlesnake we've got going on right there. It's actually called a common death adder. A common death adder. That name sounds kind of scary, so I'm glad it's in there, not out here. <laughs> let's, let's see what else we can find in here. Uh, things are the, the the crazy thing about nature is that these animals really know how to hide. <gasps> oh, wow! I didn't even see this guy right here. He is looking at me, and he looks a little mad. He looks like he's gonna he's gonna bite me. And what is this? It's a central carpet python. Kyle, what do you got here? I found the brown tree snake. It's hiding oh, in the brown wow. tree back over there. Wow, it's very small. It blends in. And the Boyd Forest Dragon, it's on this tree. It looks like a lizard. Oh, I, oh my God. I, I wouldn't, I would not have even noticed. It this, honestly, this is the best part about nature. The camouflaging aspects and how a lot of these animals have built in features that lead them to camouflage in such an incredible way. Wow, what is this? This is a woma. A woma snake. Very interesting. His face looks very interesting. It doesn't look like an, a regular snake. Let's see what we can find on this side of town. There's supposed to be an olive python. An olive python. I'm assuming by the size of this um, enclosure. Oh, <gasps> wow, I, I, I see the tail end of it. It's, it's hidden properly, actually. Oh, it's all in the little it's, brown. Yeah, it's all. I think it's taking a little nap, and we're 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 gonna we're gonna let it be. Uh, oh. oh, this guy right over here. What have we got right here? Centrillion blue tongue, mo, tongue. Oh, yeah, okay. blue tongue. <laughs> blue tongue. Okay. Wow, desert species. This is so cool. Looks like he's eating some kale in the back. Seems like this guy's getting fed. <laughs> so over here we have a jungle python. I'm not sure if you can see it behind the oh, branch over there. I see it. I see it, yeah. I mean, again, the camouflaging aspects, pretty wild. So we call that snake. Where can we find the snake? Where can we find the snake? Oh, is this? Oh no, this is a different snake. This is an inland tapian snake. Just is right here, you know, hanging out. Oh, hanging out. Guys. He wants to be in the in the video. Yeah, this thing looks super cute, but I'm pretty sure these things are gnarly. Oh my god. I'm just hanging out right here and I look into the printing en enclosure. What is this? What is this? He looks dead. But I know he's not. Wow. That's his camouflage. That's, I mean, that's quite a camouflage. A camouflage is death. <laughs> he just, this is his tricky way to get more food. All righty, all righty. What do we got here? A tiger snake. Interesting. Fairly hidden. There's another one back. Oh, there's back another there. large one. Yeah, I do see it. A pair of tiger snakes, I guess. What do we got here? 
frilled neck lizard. Oh, I'm right here, Nikai. Okay. We have the frilled neck lizard. Really cool. So you can find its food fighting for its life um, right by that leaf over oh, there. Oh, wow. But the lizard's right over here in the tree. Wow, so majestic. What a crazy majestic creature. Well, let's see what else we got going on right here. Yeah, this is temporary. As we are about to walk out of the, the snake enclosure we run into. Diamond python right over here. Wow. Looks like uh, looks like he's hidden in plain sight. <laughs> we randomly just walked up to this new enclosure and we found wallabies. Wallabies. Yeah, I mean, they're a little far blended in properly, but hey, you can just take our word for it. But what you don't have to take our word for is Australia's best animal. I mean, my favorite animal from Australia, the kangaroo. Oh my God. These are the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Nikaya, what are your thoughts? There's a bigger one over here. There's a napping oh, one over here. Oh my God. Oh, Can we just so cuddle cool. with them? Can we take one home? Look oh. at it hop. Oh my God. That, oh, that is the cutest hop I've ever seen in any animal ever. And I haven't seen a lot of hop. Oh wow. This one is, this one's just hanging out. Hi there, buddy. Hi, how are you? Aww. Wow, I guess this one's getting fed. Wow. What a majestic creature. What are your thoughts, Nikai? How are you feeling? I want to take one home with us. Yeah, I, I think they need to have this in the U.S. I mean, kangaroos are a must-have because they're just so cool. Look at this. Hi, hi there, buddy. I think this is a baby one. <laughs> hey, bud. Oh wow, Nikaya, that you made that kangaroo very mad. Oh, uh, buddy. Oh my God. What do you want, buddy? Yeah, he's yeah. He he wants to he wants to. Uh, he doesn't want to cuddle. He wants to nap in peace. And uh, okay, let's see let's see what else. We, oh, what is this? This doesn't look like a. Oh, it's a kangaroo's, but oh, I guess it, it's another kangaroo. This one looks a little different, though. I mean, when in Australia, there's so many different types of kangaroos. We just know kangaroos. Aww, so cute. Yeah, this one's really cool, too. Well, I guess uh, the kangaroos are about to be fed. <laughs> Wow, let's, uh, let's let's check out what's in this specific enclosure. Wow. Oh my god, he's about to come out. <laughs> he's about to come out. Aww. Hi there, buddy. Aww. We're just hanging out right here with kangaroos. And this kangaroo just decided to come out of his en enclosure. What I'm scared about is that he's gonna start fighting me and I know he's gonna win because I've, I've, we've all seen that one kangaroo video where these guys are just, you know, very, very strong. So this thing looks very majestic. Wow. I think this is, this is one of those bucket list things that you've gotta have and it's currently happening right now for me. A kangaroo just hanging out right in front of me outside his enclosure and there's no space between us. He's just looking for food and oh my god, look at those paws. Hey, these buddy. are very interesting paws. Seems like he's very hungry. <laughs> oh. He actually has a lot of friends as well. Oh wow. I'm kind of scared of him. Oh. 
flies away. Nice. He's only here for the food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Do you want to take some turns? Only this guy who needs to. Be. All right, we're about to feed some a kangaroo, and it's going to be a majestic sight to see. Aww. Wow. He's a hungry boy. All right, my turn. Wow. This is so cool. Wow. He's a big boy. Wow, this is amazing. Just fed a kangaroo and uh, probably one of the best things I've done in Australia to date. Wow, I honestly have no words to describe the feeling or whatever it felt like to feed that kangaroo. Nikaya, do you have any words to describe that? I can't believe we just fed a kangaroo. <laughs> This is amazing. Wow. Best day ever. That's actually another reason why we specifically chose this um, wildlife uh, exhibit, zoo, I guess, whatever you call it, to go to because you can actually have up close encounters with the animals. And I think holding koalas and feeding kangaroos are a part of the itinerary. So why not? All right. Why not? <laughs> amazing. We just got done feeding kangaroos and now we're hanging out with these beautiful emus and I do still have a little bit of corn left shall we feed it Nikaya shall we feed them Ooh, maybe not because there's a big sign saying we may look cute but we do bite please keep hands out Ooh, they do so I bite. don't know about you this one this one looks like he bites let's save it for the koalas all right. They look like they're belonging to Jurassic Park. I know, right? They literally look like <laughs> dinosaurs. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> I do follow you. They're like dogs. Let's go. Very mean dogs. Whoa. Know, is this a hawk? This is so cool. Yeah, a hawk or an eagle, maybe. Wow. There's a bigger one up there. I, I, I do see like a few bones in there. I wonder if he's the culprit of that. <laughs> oh, there is a bigger one right there. Or oh, the decoration. Oh, wow. This one's so cool as well. What are we going to see next? Oh, I do see another eagle, I think, or hawk. Not really sure. Let's see what his name is. Oh, it's a, an eastern osprey. He eats fish, snakes, and eels. So cool. It kind of looks like the... A beast, but a little bit more majestic. Yes, a kind more of a hybrid of a flamingo and a, be a beast. Okay, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> Basically, just like walking around over here, and we end up finding this animal called the qual. It's, it looks very dangerous, but kind of just, it looks normal here, but I mean, I do, would not want to encounter something that has teeth as sharp as that. It kind of looks like a giant rat. A giant rat. Yeah. Pernikaya, yeah, so giant rat, I mean, giant nothing about- Giant rat meets raccoon with kind of a kangaroo tail. You know, that's Australia for you. The, the craziest animals you'll see in the entire world. <laughs> Hey there, buddy. How's it going? What's your name? I do want to know what these things are because they, 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 they do look very pretty. Oh, I think he really likes me. I think he wants to be my friend. Let's see what your name is. You are a Bralga? Very interesting. Bralga. Very cool, man. 
Well, it's now I know what a Braga looks like. <laughs> really cool. And Kai, what are your thoughts about Bragas? I mean, they seem very active and friendly. Yeah, this this one for sure is really cool. All about majestic creatures, and the one that we're looking at right in front of us can't be. You can't. You can't. You can't even spell majestic without this specific bird. It How? has kind of a platypus beak, and I don't know. It's kind of spunky looking. Very spunky looking. Hold on, what is this? This looks like a Australian native duck. Quite interesting. Oh, oh. What is this? The one that's chirping is right over here. Wow. In the tree. In the tree. We have to. Wow. Wow. I think these are the the, the Cooper Dews. They've been chirping. This one's really cool as well. Wow, these are, oh my God, look at his nest. They have the most gigantic nest I have ever seen in my whole entire world. Wonder what this is. Right okay. over here on the floor. Hey there, buddy. They're peasant. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a big uh, animal as well. I think they need a, they need big nests out here. <laughs> I know this this one has the other nest this one has this nest whoa what is this oh whoa 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 really cool burrito wow that is the coolest looking kangaroo type I don't even know what this is it's the coolest looking animal I've ever seen in my entire life. We have to find out its name. Like, we, we can't just not find out its name. These are the Goodfellow Tree Kangaroos. These are probably the prettiest kangaroos I've ever seen in my entire life. Nikai, what are your thoughts? So beautiful. Right? Wait, it's a kangaroo? That's a kangaroo, yeah. Oh my goodness. These, These little guys. guys. <laughs> These guys. Thank you, Let me get some I just love the sauce. I love the way they walk. It looks so cool, just walking. Really cool. Oh, I guess they do bite. Oh my goodness. Oh, no way. He's not coming up to us. Oh. Hi there, buddy. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Looks like his nest or something. These are so beautiful. So majestic. Oh, it's eating. It's eating. Me and Nakaya, we are obsessed with koalas. So, I mean, when we come to Australia, there are only a few animals that we kind of strive to see. One of them is a kangaroo, and the second one is a koala. But right in front of us are beautiful, beautiful koalas. Literally, they're just hugging the tree, minding their own business. Seems like they're having a great time. I want to be a koala. So I'm actually a humongous fan of cockatoos. And what is in front of us right now is a beautiful, beautiful cockatoo. Hello, Mr. Cockatoo. Hi there, buddy. How are you? We I don't have anything for you. <laughs> I, think I don't he, think he's I, allowed to eat this. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. So basically this morning, we were hanging out with these guys in the wild. We observed and we recorded these guys just, you know, living freely in the wild, having a great time, and now we're actually seeing them up close and personally. And it's, I mean, it's, it, I think it's such an amazing thing for us to see, especially out here in Australia. Such a great country, especially for wildlife, and especially for people who are interested in uh, various different types of wildlife. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my God, it's a, it's a gala. 
That's really cool. Someone's holding a koala and just feeding him, you know? It's really cool. I mean, what a great sanctuary this is. Mikhail, what are your thoughts? How are you I thoughts? love it. I'm so glad we came to this specific spot more than any other spots. All right, this is the spot, guys. This is the spot. I've been a farmer at heart. So what I'm gonna do today is go back to my roots, go back to my heart, and get into the farm. Yeehaw, brother. Let's see what we've got going on right here. Oh, wow, there is, we've got some, some goat action. Goats being fed, there's some chickens. More Nigerian dwarf goats. Hey there, buddy, how are you? Mikaya, what, oh my God, wow. Amazing, I mean, egg shortage, guys. Where is egg shortage? I see all these guys right here. Oh my God, there's some geese. Squad. Squad just hanging out, I love it. No way, hey, hey there, buddy. These look like very pretty goats. I love it. Let's see what we, oh, no way. Bunnies! Bunny, honey. So oh. cute. How are you feeling, Nakaya? I'm feeling amazing. That we've got some guinea pigs going on right here. The chickens are, you know, just, just hanging out. Those are some big chickens. That's a, that's a, that's a big mama right there. And these guys, of course. Watch your step. Oh, there's poop. Oops. One of my future pets is going to be a Nigerian dwarf goat. And today, we're gonna try to feed a Nigerian dwarf goat. Hey there, buddy. Oh, I guess he does not want my food. Very, very picky eater we've got going on right here. But you know, at least we tried. We tried to feed them. We tried to do a, a nice gesture. But sometimes these goats, you know, they have their own minds. Uh, we actually had a great time in the farm. I... Now we're about to head out. Some jungles and, oh my God. Wow. 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 I have no words to describe the beauty that I'm currently, oh my God. Oh my God. The beauty that I'm currently watching. This is, I, I, I don't know, man. This is, this is too good. The amount of wildlife we've seen out here, the type of wildlife is just, it's amazing. No words. Look at the tail on this, uh, this tree kangaroo we've got. That's a very giant tail. I wonder what they do with it. I'm, I'm assuming they just hold on to branches, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to look this up. Let me know if you guys know what they do with these uh, giant tails up in the comments. We are hanging out with the Australian shell ducks. Hey there, guys. How's it going? How's Australia? Do you guys like it out here? Well, I'm sure they do because they've been here for millennia. Hi. <laughs> wow, cuties. Baby kangaroos are possibly the cutest living creatures in existence. Let's go ahead and try to feed one. Whoa, the pigeon's trying to steal a kangaroo. Kangaroo. I guess the kangaroo does not want to eat today. <laughs> we'll try again another day then. So cool. The, cra the, the crazy thing about koalas is that they're so well hidden and they just know how to hide. It's really cool. The kangaroo made it in there. 
Oh, wow. We can pet a koala for 30. Look at that baby koala. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wow. I mean, koalas, I mean, whatever they do, it's just funny. Just like this, I mean, this, what, what kind of pose is this? But it's probably the cutest thing in the whole entire world. Another pose, another pose from a koala. What is this? But it's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Wow. This is quite a majestic animal. What kind of bird is this? He's a yellowtail black cockatoo. Yellowtail black cockatoo, wow. I, I actually saw the, oh wow. <laughs> he just wants attention. I actually saw them on the, on the Blue Mountain like, yeah, yeah, Blue magazine. Mountain. Yeah, you get them around the mountains. They have a very southern name, so. Yeah, being up on where they're found, all throughout there. Oh wow. You, don't, you still get the odd go. I just randomly came across this beautiful bird. I believe it's called the musk lorikeet. They're very pretty, green and red colors. The colors are very astonishing. I'm really excited. Uh, I think it probably has some of the craziest animal species I've ever seen. Like, what is this? Looks like a lizard. But I don't know. I'm, I'm currently en route to feed the kangaroos one last time before leaving. I'm really, really excited. Let's do this. Dave, did you get my picture? A little bit. You get the picture No, I don't have any pictures. Uh, oh. Okay. Let's see if I can do portrait. Hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah. All right, let's feed a kangaroo. Oh. Feeds the emo some corn to see if they eat it. Yeah, there's a wasn't able to eat it, but hey, at least we tried. <laughs> Finish our tour to the Featherdale Sydney Wildlife Park, which is basically home to the largest collection of Australian animals. We had a great time, explored so many species. We can't even, we honestly didn't even know Australia had that many species. We even fed a kangaroo. We fed multiple kangaroos. We saw emus, we saw, oh my God. It was, we, we, we saw so many species. I, I honestly wouldn't even know, but now we're about to head out. We're gonna go home. So Sydney, here we come. Let's do it. <laughs> 